Yokohama Japan not only marked the fourth event on the 2016 WTS calendar, but also the final race in a two-year Olympic qualification period. With several athletes still looking to book a place in Rio, this was a final chance to impress. The harbour waters were choppy for the two-lap 750-metre swim, and South Africa's Henry Schumann had soon managed to get himself to the front. But the 1500 metres failed to fully separate the field and the USA's Ben Canute led them into T1 with Schumann and Great Britain's Gordon Benson. Top ranked athlete in the field Mario Mola found himself caught in the pack and set up on the 40k bike some 34 seconds down. The large lead group has soon established a 15 second lead over the chasers in the early stages of the nine lap race. But the gap would soon close to leave around 50 athletes together as they came through transition. A long string of cyclists headed through the picturesque waterfront setting with good crowds cheering them on their way. The large pack wasn't decreasing in size as they reached the furthest part of the course and it looked as though this would come down to whoever had the running leg to take gold. T2 was extremely congested as the large lead group all touched down hoping for a clean transition. Mola had ridden well and was now back in contention as he made sure not to incur any unnecessary penalties. Knut had also ridden well and was still in the mix. It was though the familiar sight to the Spaniard at the head of the field with the large pack behind him but Norway's Christian Blumenfeld fresh from his World Cup winning Cagliari last week was right on Mola's heels. These two were now testing the resolve of the rest of the field and Mola was starting to pull away from the Norwegian. The chasers were a long way back, but Mexico's Crisanto Grales, who finished fourth in last year's grand final in Chicago, was trying to break away and catch the two in front. The Mexican was hoping to improve on his fifth place finish here last year and was looking strong as he yet into the gap. Blumenfeld was tiring and knew that Grales was right behind him with Mola now out of sight in first place and heading for a third WTS win of the year. In a final surge, Gralies caught up to Blumenfeld and was able to search past him with ease. And with the rest of the chasers closing, the Norwegian needed to make sure he held on for third place. Mola's efforts were rewarded with his first ever gold medal in Yokohama, having finished third and second respectively in the last two years. The large crowds on the finishing shoot showed their appreciation for the efforts of the Spaniard. Gralias managed to hold off the spirited Blumenfeld to take silver and his first ever WTS podium, while Blumenfeld just had enough in the tank to take third and the bronze medal. And as he crossed the line, it's clear to see how his efforts had taken their toll. Mola the winner then, Crisianto Gralias second and Christian Blumenfeld third but the other winners would be those athletes who'd done enough in the race to earn themselves a spot on the starting line in Rio in August. Have fun. Yeah, I'm very happy with uh, how things went today. Um, I think I managed to, to do a good swim. Uh, I was able also to stay on the, in the front of the pack. Uh, the British guys uh, did a great job in front, so it made it a bit easier uh, to stay there. So uh, then on the run, yeah, I felt, felt great, so I can't be happier today.